say I'm actually pretty pleased with how my hair is fading this time. Not bad. Hello everyone, it is Sam and I hope you guys are having a great day today. It is another Wednesday, which means it's another Top 5 Wednesday video. Today is the top 5 books that you read before booktube. I was a big reader before booktube. I didn't discover booktube until like three and a half years ago and I've been a big reader since about the age of nine. So yeah, I got 20 years of reading under my belt and quite a few books that I have encountered over the years. So without further ado, I will show you guys my top five. And number one is going to the series that actually got me into fantasy genre in particular, and that of course is The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. I read this series when I was 11. It was way before the movies ever came into existence, not counting the horrible cartoon version, <laughs> and way before I ever started booktube. And this was actually what started my love for fantasy. I cannot get enough of this series. I And I remember finding my own copies in the book sale room at the at my local library for a quarter each. I bought them, I would reread them every year, and I just could not get enough. It was where I discovered I love fantasy, I love the adventure, and I love the worlds that are created through the fantasy genre, and the rest is history. The next book I am giving to The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I actually read this book when it very first came out. Within like a month of it coming out, I had it because I got it for Christmas that, that same year. I think it came out in October. So 2008. So it's been almost 10 years since I first picked up this book. I really enjoy it. I know it has extremely mixed reviews on booktube. A lot of people don't like the character of Quoth, but I actually really enjoyed it. I actually also haven't reread the series since the second book came out in 2011, so I am definitely due for a reread, but I keep waiting for when book three will come out, which at this point I'm feeling like will never come out ever. <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed this series. I thought it was a fun adventure. I thought it was something original, and damn it, I want Doors of Stone now. <laughs> My number three slot is going to all of Tamara Pierce's books. I read these in high school. I read them when I was 15. One of my best friends that year introduced me to this author and all of her books, and she actually lent them all to me. I could not get enough. Alana was everything I wanted to be. She was a female knight doing everything the boys could do, and I, I fell in love. I loved all of her characters. I'm in the middle of rereading all of her books right now, and they're so good, and I love them so much, and they need more love here on booktube. Number four I'm actually going to give to Harry Potter, even though I'm sure this one will actually be on a lot of people's list, but I don't care. I have a funny story with Harry Potter. It came out, it started to become popular when I had first read The Lord of the Rings, and people kept comparing it to Lord of the Rings. They kept saying that it was like the new Tolkien and I'm like no nothing can be ever be as good as Tolkien's Lord of the Rings or his writing or anything and I just refused to read it. I did not want anything to do with it because salty 11 year old Sam was bitter about everybody comparing it to Tolkien. So one day I was bored. I had finished whatever book it was I was reading. I think it actually might have been Little Men by Louisa, Louisa May Alcott. And my mom had read Harry Potter and she had the first three books because that was all that was out at the time. And she's like, read it. You'll like it. You'll enjoy it. Trust me. So I sat down and I cracked open Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone if you're in the UK. And Yep, she was right. I was addicted. I could not get enough of it. I became obsessed with Harry Potter. I wanted to be go to Hogwarts so bad. It was just like the perfect escape for me at the time. And I remember rereading those first three books quite a bit before the fourth book finally came out. And I actually have a lot of the pre-movie Harry Potter merchandise because the movies didn't come out until a couple years later. And so I have like these... Hallmark was selling a lot of um, Harry Potter merchandise at the time. My sisters gave me a bunch of stuff for Christmas that year. So I have like these old snow globes. I have this one and one other one. Um, that feature the pre-movie Harry Potter, which I actually prefer. I really hate it when they come out with movie merchandise based on books. I don't know why, but it's always irritated me. And the last series I want to mention, I'm too dizzy to get it off my shelf but it's right here, <laughs> is Theft of Swords and the Rayuri Revelation series by Michael J. Sullivan. I read this a few years before Booktube. It was still a relatively new series at the time. He had just gotten picked up by a publisher because these were originally self-published books. And I, I don't remember, I don't even remember how I picked them up. I think I just saw them available. That's right. I had actually just gotten a Kindle for the first time. I think The Fire had just come out and that was the one I had. And I was buying, wanting to get new books. I picked these ones up. Oh my god, so good. I became addicted to Michael J. Sullivan's books. He creates a really, really fun fantasy adventure series. And I loved it. And then now it's exploded on booktube. A lot of people have read the series and love it just as much, which makes my heart so happy because I was, it's kind of exciting to be there at the beginning and to kind of watch a book grow in popularity and get the, especially when it's a book series that deserves that attention, which his books definitely do. All right, guys, that is it for my top five books that I read before booktube. I would love to know what one of your number one books are that you read before booktube because, you know, that's a fun thing to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Until next time, happy reading. Bye. Bye.